Hi I'm Brian your friendly pharmacist. In this episode let's look at my 5 top tips to helping you pass the OSCEs. Otherwise known as the Objective Structured Clinical Examination. This exam is designed to assess your ability to competently apply your professional pharmacy skills and knowledge. You must demonstrate your knowledge in a standardized medical scenario. Students have the opportunity to demonstrate competency in communication, history taking, clinical reasoning, and medical knowledge. It is meant to be a fair and accurate way to assess competence, as well as identify areas that need more work and practice. Tip 1. A good history taking tool will not only save you time but help get you all the answers you need to make a clinical decision. History taking tools help you ask the patient a range of questions in an appropriate order and consist of questions such as, who is the patient? What is their age and BMI? Are they on any medications and what recent medication changes have they had? If you are not allowed to bring written information into the exam then you should memorize these questions ahead of time. Tip 2. Most marking criteria give easy points for behavior and mannerism. Don't forget to introduce yourself to the patient in your scenario, smile and make eye contact. Showcasing positive body language is an easy way to get some marks. I would recommend practicing in the mirror or recording yourself and watching it back to help you improve in this area. Tip 3. Use a range of open-ended and closed-ended questions when obtaining a patient history. If you are unsure about when to use each type of question check out our video on this in the comments section below. Knowing when to use the correct type of question can help you save time and get the information you need effectively. For example you may want to open the conversation with questions like. What brings you to the pharmacy today? Or. Could you please tell me more about your symptoms? To clarify information. For example a diagnosis. You should switch to closed ended questions such as. Is there itching? Simply by knowing when to ask the right question you could obtain all the information you need to make a clinical decision. Tip 4. If unsure at any point you can always say something like. So that I can give you the best advice I would need to check my resources. This way you avoid giving incorrect information and causing patient harm which would be an automatic fail in most exams. If your exam allows you to bring in resources you could say. Could I please have a moment to check my resources? And then take a few minutes to find the answer in your textbook. Tip 5. Practice is key. Getting used to a range of cases will increase confidence and give you exposure to a range of scenarios. You can check out our Aussies series in the comments below where we go through a range of mock scenarios. Your assessing body may also have sample exams for you to use. The more experience you set yourself up with the easier it gets when it comes to sitting the exam. If you work in a pharmacy you can practice your history taking and consultation skills with patients provided that you are under the supervision of a pharmacist of course. This exam is designed to reflect real life scenarios so this can be a great way to get exposure to cases. Good luck with your exams and thanks for watching. I hope this helps and if you could like, share, comment and subscribe we would love to see you at our next video.